Hello everybody, Mr. West Tech here. Thank you so much for watching first off. Just wanted to make a quick video here showing you some tips and tricks that I've learned on the way to level 2000. Um, let me know in the comments some tips and tricks I didn't point out that you'd like to see in a future video. I plan on making more of these. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Hopefully, you know, everybody that clicks on this can learn something new. I just learned this trick the other day. Now, I'm constantly changing teams or looking to join a team. It's just something you do on Fallout 76. But I didn't know if you hold the options button, it just brings up the teams. Or the public team menu. It, it's so easy, I just didn't know that. I, if you're on uh, PC or Xbox, I'm not sure, but you hold a button. It's holding options on PlayStation. Maybe let me know in the comments what you would hold. But I just recently figured that out. This is another trick that I didn't um, know up until like a couple of months ago. My girlfriend actually pointed it out to me. Um, her friend Kurt showed her. Uh, so shout out to you, Kurt. Uh, and uh, oh, another quick little tip here is to get dirty water. Um, I actually go back to it. So what you do is you just tap the or sorry, hold the drink button, and then as soon as that fills and the water starts running, spam the square button. Or I'm not sure what that'd be on Xbox. I think X maybe. And then you will get tons of dirty water. It definitely helps with cooking. But that's not the tip I wanted to point out here. The tip is, is if you're going to make food and eventually as you get on in the game, you're going to learn a lot of recipes. So maybe you're looking for tasty squirrel stew. I know I used to cook that a lot when I was a carnivore. Um, you don't have to scroll through the whole list. What you can do is, is just, uh, well, I couldn't make it here anyway. It's not a good point right here because I wasn't making it but just to show you I wanted to make boiled water to bring up more food and you can just toggle craftable at the bottom so only food that you can make with the items that you have will pop up and it will make that menu so much smaller like this was such a good trick that I was so happy to learn trust me if you cook a lot toggle craftable um, just a quick tip here, not a lot of people may know this, there's a lot of fast travel spots on the map that are free. Now I didn't know until recently, I, did, I don't know why, I don't think it always was, I could be wrong, but the Rusty Pick and White Springs is also free to travel, travel to. Um, of course teammates camps and uh, teammates survival tents and uh, Crater, Foundation, Fallout 76, all of these are fast, free fast travel places that you might want to take advantage of. Say you're a newer player and you don't have a lot of caps, maybe fast travel close to these places that you want to go to and then it won't cost you as much caps. Like going from, you know, let's just say Hemlock Holes at the top here, which is the left of Crater, if you wanted to go all the way down and do the Scorch Beast Queen event, you had to you know, click on not somebody's survival tent, you actually had to pay for it. It's going to be like 60, 70 caps. It gets expensive. So just wanted to point that out that Fallout 70, or sorry, yeah, Fallout 76, or oh my god. I can't think of it. Oh my god. The shelter. The 76 shelter is free. Oh my god, I'm blanking right here. Um, main point is, is that White Spring and the Rusty Pick are now also free to travel to. Just found that out myself. Um, another good thing that I learned, probably not too recently, but within the last couple months, is that a Tesla rifle is really great for getting XP on events. And, uh, yeah, simple as that. Just, like, you don't even need to kill them because they'll probably get eat up pretty quick. I'm even assuming after the Legacy uh, nerf they will um, still get eat up quick. Maybe not as quick, but uh, those railroad rifles, man, are destroying enemies so yeah just wanted to say even at the scorch beast event uh the queen event uh this works very well um eviction notice it works okay and moonshine jamboree it works okay but not as well at radiation rumble that's the best one to use a tesla rifle at just wanted to point that out also want to point out that um if you're in need of ammo a great way to get ammo for certain weapons not so much like fast firing guns that use a lot of ammo but like the flamer the plasma caster the gatling gun um even some of the you know i think like uh like the combat rifles this wouldn't be too bad for depending on how many bullets it takes you to kill an enemy in the daily ops but they drop tons of ammo um, I would suggest doing it on uplink, not so much, um, what's the one that starts with the D, decryption, because um, you have to hunt down the enemies in that one. 
Um, I died there because I didn't have the right build. This is like my XP build right now. But yeah, I would definitely recommend doing this more on Uplink because you can just kind of start the, uh, the boost at the site when you're securing and you can just run away from it and you can get tons of kills but it's maybe even smarter too to just keep running it over and over again because i find more enemies do spawn when you're actually in the boost area so just wanted to point that out the daily ops is amazing for ammo don't underestimate it especially for the smaller or sorry the the less firing weapons like a, or sorry the slower firing weapons like a gatling gun um, not so much even the flamer, like a 50 cal this wouldn't work great for, but even a flamer I find is somewhere in the middle for the use of ammo that it uses. It's actually probably uses more ammo than like some of the other guns. That's why I just wanted to use this one for a great example. I went into the daily ops as you can see at the beginning there before I went in. I had about 2,000 ammo. Now watch how much I have when I came out. This took about 11-12 minutes. And this will work great with a plasma caster I'd like to point out, but anyway. I have 4,200 ammo now. Like, 2,200 ammo right there in like 11 minutes, you know? If you don't want to waste materials, this is a great way to get ammo. Just wanted to point it out. Another thing I, I learned not too recently, but recently, was that, um, because I go vendor hopping all the time. Like, say you're like all mushed in here and you're trying to, you know, see what the vendor's got to see if you want to decide to go there or not. Um, you don't need to you know, move the cursor around the map here. It's probably easier on a, on a computer, but I'm on PlayStation, so this is actually awesome. But you can just bring up the world activity map, push R1 or to the right, and it just shows all the vendors. And you can click on them and see what they have before you go there. And if you want to go there, there's a fast travel option right there. It's like perfect for vendor hopping. If you are hopping vendors, you need to know this. Because I go through servers so fast, just going through this menu rather than what I used to do is just look around and see who has what which takes forever another trick here with the uh, gold bullion now when, when you get to where I am there's not too much to really buy with the gold bullion so um, I just wanted to point out that you can get unlimited perfect bubblegum and lunch boxes provided you have the bullion unfortunately you can't get unlimited bullion but say you, you know, because I thought that you could only buy three a day and then it would take 20 hours to reset like everything else does after you buy it for the first time. But no, you just simply click off of them. And this works at Crater too, I'm sure, wherever you are. And, you know, click back on them and look, you can get three more lunch boxes. See, I buy some perfect bobble, bubble gum here. Bobble gum. Leader bobble and bobble bobble gums. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, simple as that. And now look, you can get three more. You just keep going on and off them. You can buy as much as you want. I get a lot of lunch boxes this way. I um, just wanted to throw in there too, a lot of people forget that you can get 600 bullion from Smiley for 6,000 caps. There's a 300 bullion. We're going to see here. I think it might be 300. Sorry. You can get less if you want, but if you have the caps, just, you know, yeah, 6,000 caps for 300 bullion. Don't forget, right? Just throwing that out there. Good old smiley for the bullion. And you can only do this once a week. I feel like this should be daily, but yeah, that's just my opinion. And that's pretty much it for this video, everybody. Uh, these were more of like newer tips and tricks that I've learned. So I kind of wanted to share with you. Maybe we could do some beginner tricks or something like that. Let me know in the comments what you think or some tips maybe that I didn't point out. I would love to learn some stuff from you guys too. And I hope this helped you maybe learn a couple of things. I know there's some OG people on my channel, so you probably know most of the stuff already. But thank you so much for watching. Take care.